Hey you, welcome back to my channel. I am Tafira Nava for those who don't know. And today, as you can see by the title, is another video about empties. So, let's talk about empties. So, the last video of empties that I did, I think was right after Thanksgiving. I'll have that one linked down below. It was right after I started to put up most of like the Christmas decor for 2020. And yeah, so I did that one I think like the very first weekend, first week of December. And then ever since then, after I got rid of those, I have been keeping and collecting all my empties for all of December, February, well, I just skipped over January, <laughs> December, January, and February, and now we're pretty much into March now. So three and a half months of empties. There's quite a bit here. I definitely was like, I haven't filmed in about a month. I definitely need to do an empties video first because they are literally overflowing from the container box that I keep my empties in. So when it comes to the first video that I need to do, it was the empties, no question asked. I've been debating if I want to start breaking up my empties videos, like just do empties videos only with health products, only with beauty products, only with like skin or hair products, only with food products. I don't know, I've been playing around with that so that my empties videos aren't too long. I think now looking back at like my analytics and so statistics on my YouTube channel thus far. I think I'm averaging about 40 minutes for all of my videos, which is more than I want to. I want to stay like 30 minutes and under. However, I'm one of those people who kind of enjoy some of the longer videos on some of my YouTubers. So maybe you guys can appreciate mine. Nonetheless, I want you to know that my goal is not to always be that long. I want to do like I said around 30 minutes so if you think you would like like my empty videos to be more done by categories like I said before let me know in the comments down below but anyway we're gonna just get into these empties regardless Okay, so I'm discerning to go with the items that I have the most of and then work my way down to the least items. And that is starting with like bath and skincare, um, body care type of things. So first up, we're going to start with the Retinol Correction Max Daily Hydration Cream Advanced anti wrinkle Formula 24 Hour Deep Hydration by Rock. The Rock. Rock. If you could see there, this was my first time trying this. I've always seen it. I've always wanted to try some of their products. I've never tried any of their products, so I went straight for some skincare. If you haven't watched any of my videos before, I definitely needed to. My skin is changing, and definitely around the fall and winter, I need more moisture. So I've been looking for products to really, really help with the moisture retention as well as help keep me youthful looking as possible. And so that's why I went with this. This is a 1.7 fluent ounces. It was around about $9 because I got it like early November, late October, somewhere in there. And I have completely emptied it out. As you can see, you can see the bottom of it. I thoroughly actually enjoyed this cream. My skin did feel moisturized and um, it lasted me a long time because it's kind of like not super thick like a smoothie but it's like a medium thickness it goes in well well as far as my skin it absorbed it I mainly used it at night and if it stays or I can find it under $10 I definitely would repurchase this again for a retinol cream I thoroughly enjoyed it so yeah that's that one next up we're going to go with I guess I'll use the full to sweep that I have of the line. I've talked about this product on my blog back in 2017 or something, but it is the Tree Hut products and it is their Moroccan Rose line. 
So here with me, I have the butter, I have the shower gel, and I have the oil. So let's start with the one that I've used before, and that is their body wash. I really enjoyed this one. I love this smell when they came out with it. For those who don't know, Tree Hut is like an on the ground type of staple product for me, especially this particular line. You can get it at any kind of drugstore or kind of most grocery stores and they are affordable. They're under $10 depending on where you get them. I typically get mine from Walmart and yeah, I love this. So when I saw that they had also a buttercream, which body butter um, I also got it's not as moisturizing as other body creams but definitely adding the oil to it that they have oh, God sent I saw that they released the Moroccan roll radiance oil for skin and hair around 2018 I think it was so probably a year or two after this line launch this fragrance launch so it took me about two years to go through this two ounce well, no, it's 1.6 fluid ounce bottle, um, mainly because I typically make my own oils for my hair and my skin. I've been doing that since 2013, but every now and then I do like to try other things. And I wanted to try this when I use the entire line just to layer that smell and keep it lingering and luscious and good. So I absolutely enjoyed this. I didn't really use this too much in my hair. This isn't a 100% a natural oil. It definitely had other things in it. And that was the only kind of like downside for me. I wish that this oil was 100% organic or at least like 90% and then, oh my God, I would go ham hair body and oil but i did mix it into the body butter like i said to give it more moisture and layering this during the spring and summer and i use it up even in the fall and winter i just love this i definitely will be purchased all of these again in fact i already have because i like it and just to do it at night it doesn't hurt it's not full of toxicity and i like them all right let's move along Okay, I'm going to keep it in the Tree Hut family line since I talked about that. And the next one is this, Kukui Nut by Tree Hut. I've always wanted to try this. I love the smell of Kukui Nut. I love Kukui Nut oils and butter and all of that. So when I definitely saw these, I wanted to get them. Again, I got these from Amazon. I got this, it was around the same time I got this. So. This was like early fall, pre-fall, end of summer, and this is their body lotion. It is 9 point ounces, Hawaiian Kukui Nut, proven to protect, relieve dry skin, and maintain skin moisture for 24 hours. I will say, in my opinion, this is more moisturizing than their body butter, which usually butters seem to be sometimes I think more moisturizing but in this case to me the tree hut body lotion is more moisturizing than their body butters I really enjoyed this scent it's it's light slightly clean and sweet at the same time but it's not overpoweringly sweet like a vanilla or a cotton candy or anything and then of course the body wash is the same thing it's 17 fluent ounces for these to be under $10 on the ground, like I said, you can get them from drugstores. Ulta, I believe, carries them, Walmart, and all of those things. This is really, really great. They try to be good source and clean. It's not 100% organic or natural, but it's more so than not. It says made with certified shea butter. Also, no sulfates, no parabens, no petroleum, and no phthalates. Um, as far as the body wash goes. And um, this is also made 100% shea butter and no parabens phthalates in the lotion as well so i really love these i love this scent i definitely will be repurchasing again all right moving right along we're gonna see you're gonna see this brand a ton always 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 like dang she always got this i am a true true fan of this brand okay <laughs> dr teals Yes, Dr. Teals, Dr. Teals. This is their foaming bath, pure Epsom salt, calm your mind with ashwagandha and essential oils. I was so happy when they came out with the ashwagandha line. Um, if you saw my previous video, I am a 
thin for ashwagandha powder capsules oils whatever i can get i'm ashwagandha everything okay so when they had this i was like oh my god when i do my teas and my powders this can be just like a whole calming, relaxing, get those HTCs in my body relaxed type of moment. I love this. I use it as a body wash, but I definitely love it for my bath times, my me times. Repurchase, repurchase, repurchase. Okay, moving along, we're gonna go into some scrubby scrub. This was a new one for me. This is Alba Botanica Acne Dote Maximum Strength Face and Body Scrub, all free. Fights breakouts even after you rinse. 2% salicylic acid acne medication formulated with willow bark extract. No parabens, no phthalates, no synthetic fragrances. 100% vegan ingredients here. If you guys can see that. And this is 8 point fluent ounces. I tried a little bit of my sister's like last year in 2020 and loved it loved it and so I went to Amazon immediately bought a three pack for like $22 and within like two months I went through it it wouldn't typically go that fast but when I tell you I use this from head to toe I use the scrub from head to toe it's a slight run for your money with the tree hut scrub I don't have any tree hut scrub in this one only because of course the added benefit of the acne and treating blemishes and all of that which you know I have been dealing with a little skin but nowhere near like I used to be I talked about that but oh my god not only does it treat of course the blemishes and acne but it makes my skin so soft you guys so so soft it works so well i even put it on my feet yes i put it on my feet and oh my god i love it i literally do it on my face my neck my body my chest my arms my rough areas my elbows my knees and my feet and i just love it i keep it in the shower i found myself reaching more for this one than the tree hut um, one only because I just love that it's 100% natural vegan ingredients no parabens no sulfate all of that stuff I just love it I will be repurchasing this again and again one me over it's a staple for sure okay next up we're gonna keep it going with the scrubs and that is something you've probably already seen at least three times already on my channel I've talked about it in my skincare routine and it is the yes to coconut ultra hydrating for dry skin energizing coffee two-in-one scrub and cleanser stick here I talked about how this scrub saved my skin when I had the this nasty nasty reaction to me putting tree bud scrub on my face it didn't work out in 2017 or 18 and this literally is what saved it I just tried it on a whim took it with me to Jamaica and it just helps it's so creamy it's so milky it has all the wonderful like light light scrub benefits in there and then it has the coconut and the coffee which is luckily I don't have any issues with coconut and I absolutely oh I've got a little bit left in there I can use but it is basically in but I have a little chunk there that I need to scrape out and use I love it I can use this all year round but especially during the fall and winter it just goes so well with keeping my skin so hydrated it says for dry skin but I have oily sensitive combination skin that is acne prone but I'm more or less dealing with like a hormonal imbalance that I am curing but I, I it still works for me this will always be a purchase I'm just kind of upset that I still have yet to find this like on the ground in the store I've driven north south east and west and I still haven't find it so it's just always an Amazon purchase now but I love you. You saved my skin. All right. Almost done with the body face skincare. Let's go and finish this up. All right. Next, next, next. We are going to do a face product. This is Natural Wonders Aloe, Chamomile, and Lavender Face Mist. Calming, soothing, nourishing. Infused with 100% natural extract this is four ounces i think i've showed different sprays from this natural wonders line uh, if you guys can see it a 
at least three or four times on this channel already. I found this, I found these at Burlington in my Burlington store. It's usually roughly between three and five dollars depending on um, what kind you get. The pump on this works excellent. I reuse this to refresh my hair, refresh my face. Every pump that I get, I keep the bottle. I keep, I just love it. This, I just love this. This works so well. It is a true mist. There's nothing left in here. <laughs> it is a true mist. I love it. It's a good refresher. It's also a good like light setting spray for my makeup. I even have sprayed it in my hair to be honest. I just really love this product. Um, and yeah the fact that they're infused with 100% natural ingredients is always a plus the more natural the better and they use recycling materials to make this so again that's natural wonders with the Z and I find this at Burlington all right finishing up with some body stuff we're gonna go with a new one I talked about this maybe in my recent last empties that I did um, kind of like fall pre-holidays it was the Nivea body cream cocoa butter 24 hour intense moisture and radiant skin and cocoa butter and vitamin E for dry skin with deep nourishing serum here and this is a 15.5 fluid ounce that's like between five to seven dollars depending on where you get it and I talked about it in the last empties it was my first time trying it ever and as I stated before my skin has definitely gotten more drier in the fall and winter than before and it might be because I wasn't drinking enough water as well but I'm getting up in age and so our skin changes period diet and all of that and of course environment affects things but I wanted to try a real body butter instead of my typical cocoa butter mango butter and all of that um, and this whipped butter was pretty good it's very light in it it's kind of perfumey it says fragrance in it I don't like that but hey I as much as I use my own natural organic cold press oils and everything else a little bit of this I think wouldn't hurt me and I definitely will rep um, repurchase it and I have so there you go okay next up I mean you guys again this is gonna be like Dr. Till's you're gonna always see this you're going to always see this I just want to warn you and that is polymers cocoa butter formula vitamin E this is their 9.5 ounce this is their um, daily skin therapy heals soften rough skin dry skin 24 hour moisture butter I just love this a oldie but goodie I got away from it for like 10 years and then around 2015 I started buying it again glad I did don't know why I stopped as um, you've seen I have a smaller jar of this that I use for like my lips and my under eye cream at night I just love this it's really moisturizing it even helps with blemishes scarring everything especially if it's fresh but even if it's not if you exfoliate a healed scar well and put this on top with some vitamin E oil I'm still telling you it will lighten that thing up but you got to be consistent you got to be consistent again I say a scar or a blemish that's been healed and you just see the mark do exfoliations lightly damp skin put this bad boy on with some vitamin E do it four to six weeks straight I promise you that thing is light if not gone try me try me mm -hmm. Okay, so that is it for all my skin and my body. Next up, we're going to, I guess, more health. Health? Health, yes. These are supplements and uh, pills and herbs and even oils that really help me internally. So let's get into it. We're going to start off with Amazing Grass Green Superfood Alkaline and Detox. Your daily greens plus cleansing herbs and spices for pH balance and detox. Simply pure. You can see that here. 
You've probably already seen me mention this as far as like my PCOS journey or just some healthy herbs and supplements that I take. I really have enjoyed this. I bought three jars of this already. Um, as you can see, it's completely empty. I love just sometimes basically putting this in my water or, of course, a smoothie and drinking it morning and night specifically. It's just really, really good. It's gluten-free, no sugar, plant-based, no GMO. And then, of course, it has some vitamins and minerals in it like vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin K, calcium, iron, sodium, and potassium. And then it's full of green stuff like wheatgrass, barley grass. It has kale, it has spinach, broccoli, asparagus, the list goes on and on. Um, organically farmed, raised, nutrient rich, dense um, from a family. So yeah, it's just full of stuff. It has all these alkaline, anti-inflammatory, anti-aging, detoxing, all of these things that I just really, really enjoy. Um, so I'm going to keep using it. I heard some recent negative things about this brand. I'm going to do my research more on it to see what's up. But I really enjoyed it. I haven't seen any negative effects on me per se. So I don't know if they got it fixed or not. But this is a 12 plus cleansing food supplement that I, I have um, been enjoying. But I'm going to hold off and read and see what's going on with this line. But it's an empty. I enjoyed it. I bought three bottles of it. Jars of it. So... That's that. Next, moving on to some more powder supplements. And this is Dr. Spez MSM powder. Helps support joints and skin. Vegan, I definitely have talked about this already if you've seen my supplements. If not, this is a staple as far as my health internally. Um, it doesn't come with the scoop, but I use this scoop. I need to keep this and put this over here and use it for my next one. But I've in the last two years have bought multitude of bottles. Usually this lasts me about two and a half months. Um, a little goes a long way because this is like a sulfur compound, something that your bones, your nails, your skin, your hair and fibers need. This is 8.8 .8 ounces. It's usually between like five and eight dollars. As you know, Amazon prices can fluctuate, but that's usually the price that I get for this. I usually buy two at a time. And yeah, I've been loving it. I see great, great results when I use it consistently. I see something when I don't and my body is missing it. But yeah, love this repurchase. All right, one more supplement. Well, actually I have two more powder supplements. The next one, this is a new one. Country Farms, this is collagen plus greens, collagen peptides types one and three. 23 organic green superfoods, 100% pasture raised and grass, grass fed. This is um, 4G collagen, gluten free, sugar free, no GMOs, unflavored. Here, and this says it has 30 servings, and this is 10.6 fluid ounces. I just wanted to try it. I do green smoothies quite a bit and I saw that it was already combined with the collagen so I don't have to add a separate collagen powder and I got it on sale at Walmart I believe yeah it was like six dollars I think and originally it's probably 15 but yeah I gra um, grabbed this tried it I liked it I used it in my green smoothies I even added it to my matcha when I made my matcha from scratch so I liked it. If I see it again and it's a good price, I will purchase it again. All right, for my last powdered supplement, it's by Pure Naturals. It's herbs, organic maca root powder, energizing superfood, supports reproductive health, promotes immune function, promotes positive mood, and reduces fatigue. 90 servings, 5G grams per serving, and this is a 16 point fluid ounces, which basically equals a pound. And that is this one here. You guys can see that this lasted me quite a bit almost basically about seven months um, I definitely would have now going for it knowing that the taste is pretty 
it's not as potent as the sulfur MSM, but you can taste it. So when I was making my smoothies and stuff like that, if I didn't have anything to counteract the taste of it, I could taste it. So a little goes a long way. Um, but it all depends on your body levels and what you need. But I enjoyed this brand. I got it from Amazon and it's lasted me pretty much a year. Um, but in the last seven months, I went through it a little quicker. <laughs> and um, But yeah, I liked it. I'm trying another brand of a maca root powder. So we'll see how it goes. I might go back to this one. But this was only one jar purchased of this one. All right, let's go to some of our capsule healthy things. Okay, next up I have Ashwagandha Root Extract by BioSwartz. I believe this is a professional grade with black pepper, supports a healthy stress response, supports a balanced mood, helps manage stress, no fillers or GMOs, third party tested, made in the USA, 120 vegan capsules, no artificial ingredients, fillers, chemicals, or color additives, binders, or preservatives. And that is this brand here. I think I've showed this, I know I've showed this before in probably supplements that I take or daily supplements like that. I started taking ashwagandha in a pill form as this. I do enjoy this brand. It definitely worked. This was my first introduction to ashwagandha like this, buying the pills. And I saw with me taking it consistently about four pills a day, two in the morning, two at night. Within about three weeks, I felt a difference in my body. Like I felt my body go, it just helps with all the stress hormones that is released in your body naturally or when you're in tense situations. And I definitely got tired of taking so many pills because I take a lot of pills. I definitely went to a powder form, so much better. But yeah, I am obsessed with ashwagandha and this was my first introduction to it. And I will keep buying ashwagandha. And if I want pills, this is the brand that I probably would go for again. Okay, the next supplement pill that I have is by Nature Made. This is their flaxseed oil, 14 milligrams, made with organic flaxseed oil, helps support a healthy heart. This is 100%, 100 soft gel pills here. For those who don't know, if you haven't watched my video previously of my daily supplements, Flexi oil is definitely a major thing. This is one capsule that I do take. Um, as I stated probably in that video, I do actually use the oil in certain foods when I make them, but I typically um, take my Flexi through a capsule. And typically it's two brands that I bounce between this two, and this is um, Nature's Made, and I think the other one is Nature's Way. Or, um, what is that brand called? Now. The now brand <laughs> is the other one, but flaxseed is a must. It's a must when I eat. It helps keep me from feeling overly bloated. It helps with kind of the fiber and everything, breaking down the food, keeping me regular, and just all of those good things. And of course, it has the heart healthy benefit of it. So definitely will be repurchasing seeing that. And last two things, well, three things. Here is a spice that I like, or seasoning, however you want to call it, by Spice Islands. This is ground ginger here. I love the brand Spice Islands. They have wonderful, good source spices and seasonings, as you call. They are a little bit on the pricey side compared to other ones, but I love it. I use it for seasoning, whatever I want to see, soup, stews, whatever. I use also the powder form of ginger in my smoothies, as well as the fresh ginger cubes. So a continual, always repurchase ginger, ginger, ginger. Next up is an oil, and this is Trader Joe's Organic Virgin Coconut Oil, cold press and refined. This is 16 fluid ounces, so almost a pound of, it's like a pound jar of coconut oil. This is my favorite 
coconut oil because I actually love the taste of this coconut and um, yeah I've been using this coconut oil now for maybe five six years um, I've tried other brands they're okay but I when it comes to definitely like putting it in my smoothies and my food and my rice and everything like this I just love it I love the taste I love it that is on the ground I can go and grab it when I need it and it's not expensive this is like what three to five dollars I think it is more five dollars so yeah if I buy one or two I use it in my hair I use it on my skin I'm just blessed that I don't have any issues to coconut or any derivative of coconut so this will always be a staple you're always going to see it empties in this always 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 unless something changes last one it is Avocado oil by a brand called Tropical Plantation. 100% pure, cold pressed, naturally refined, perfect for high heat cooking, naturally cholesterol free. Coconut oil. I mean, Lord Jesus, coconut oil is on my mind. Avocado oil, you guys. Avocado oil. So this one is a new brand for me and this is 1.5 liters huge my dad actually bought this for me and gave it to me because he knows i'm like crazy about avocado oil this is like one of my top five favorite oils for my hair and my skin it's light it's just and i have a little bit left in there i need to use that a little bit i just love it this was a good one i mean this was nice um for the price i don't know what it was because my dad gave it to me oh it's um an association with lily of the desert Oh, well, the desert. I like Lily of the Desert. For those who don't know, I do use the aloe vera gel as my toner for my face. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So I definitely will repurchase this again. I enjoyed it. This lasted me a little bit over a year because um, I use it when I make my own body oil, my own hair oil, and facial oil. So like I said, I, I just love this. I can use it to like remove makeup with no issue double cleansing for my skin routine, hot oil treatments, like I'm a, I, I, lo I love avocado oil. So I can repurchase this if I see it. I don't see this a lot around me, so, but I will purchase this one. Okay, we're working around down. We're working it down. We're winding it down. Now we're gonna go with some thing that I'm obsessed with about, and that's tea. I love teas, so let's do some tea empty. <laughs> All right, we doing teas, y'all. We doing teas. You see how I smell? <laughs> Tea obsessed. All right, so again, like I said, I've been saving these since December, so we have some fall teas in here. And the two boxes that I have that are empties are from Trader Joe's, and it is their Harvest Blend herbal or herbal tea depending on where you're from caffeine free 20 tea bags and that's these here for some reason as long as i've been shopping at trader joe's i never bought their teas until 2019 i was like let me try their teas mainly because the glam twins talked about this particular tea and i love like fall flavored type of teas that has like that cinnamon and ginger and cardamom and clove and all of that and you guys the smell oh my God. and they were not kidding when they said this was the best most flavorfully potent tea that reminds you of fall they were not kidding i've definitely been one to have tried many teas too to get that like fall taste and smell this without a doubt hits it out the park and uh, these are like two dollars maybe three i think at the most for each box you can't beat that with a stick so i loaded up on these i think i already had one box in my previous empties back in early december and i bought a total of three when i went there again so yeah i i love this tea every season when they bring them out I will be repurchasing and I'm definitely going to do more than three boxes because I love this tea. If you want a good harvest fall type of tea, you need to hit up Trader Joe's. You hear what I'm saying? 
keeping it on the Trader Joe's bandwagon. A new one that I tried too was their Spice Chai, a rich, robust blend of some black tea and exotic extracts. I only got one box and I have been kicking myself in the book <laughs> since then because again, the flavor, the smell, I mean, I should have known better. I love my chai. I don't know why I played myself like that, but I played myself. However, this fall and winter, I will be stocking up on this. I think they also had it early spring, so they probably don't have it now because we're um, heading into, um, but right before spring, they had this. Now that spring is kicking in, I'm going to see if they have it. I'm going to get some more. But anyway, I'm rambling. I'm, I'm upset. I should have got like five boxes of this. So good. They're teas. Don't sleep on them, you guys. If you love them, if you want flavor and you want aroma. So far, the Trader T Teas, that's where it's at for me. That's where it's at for me. Let's do one more Trader Joe's tea. And that is, oh, two more. I'm sorry. Let's do, let's do this one. This is their Winter Wake Me Up, a spicy black tea with cinnamon and ginger. Ginger. And that's this one here. I bought three boxes of these as well when I bought the Harvest. This is for more wintry, christmas -y type tea. And I think it pretty much hit the spot for me too. It's more fallish. I think if it had more of a peppermint taste, it definitely, with a little more peppermint, that's what would do it for me. And that's what I wind up doing with this winter tea. I would add a bag of peppermint tea to this perfect perfect blend for like that December January Christmas vibe for me that I got you get a little bit of the fall but you get a little bit of the December and peppermint is definitely one of those things I think about for like winter outside of like maybe gingerbread or something like that so I would just say try this and put a bag of peppermint in it it is so good again this will be a staple you guys I've been going ham on these Trader Joe's teas then I wanted to try something new. I typically get this type of confirmation of tea from like a Kroger's or something like that from um, a certain line. But they had the organic ginger turmeric herbal tea that I wanted to try here. You guys can see that. So I picked it up. For those who don't know, I love ginger. I love turmeric. Anything anti-inflammatory for the body is something that I always gravitate to. I talk about it to keep the inflammation down in my body and the stress and everything. So I wanted to try this um, one from them because I've been loving all the flavors and the aroma of the teas. And when I say you guys, them other brands from the other stores ain't got nothing on Trader Joe's again. I can't, I don't know, like, first of all, the bag is yellow, like, the bag is that golden turmeric yellow that you get with turmeric, the other bags don't be yellow like that, so I just feel like, as a mind thing, visually, aesthetically, it's turmeric up in there, okay, because the bag yellow, and, yeah, and I taste it, it's so flavorful, it's so good with the sugar rocks, you guys, I I'm just saying. From now on, it's it's just the it's it's Trader Joe's teas for me. It's the Trader Joe's teas for me, y'all. That's my blog. <clears throat> all right, so we're gonna keep the tea vibe going. As I said, it's all about teas. Next up, I have my Caribbean Dreams brand, hot or cold ice instant ginger tea. Just add water. This shouldn't be new to you guys. I definitely have showed you guys this one before. I love it. Been drinking this for 20 years. Um, more consistently in the last like eight years. I love it. This brand is a brand that I will be purchasing that is not at Trader Joe's. And I love. I love it putting it in my smoothies as well. But that's that. And then next up is a tea. And it is by a brand Jade Leaf Matcha. Organic Japanese Matcha. It is premium second harvest matcha for blending and cooking. And that is this brand here. Organic, gluten-free, nothing added, and vegan. 
So I got this from Amazon as well because I definitely wanted to start making my matcha from scratch. I love definitely matcha lattes, matcha teas, but definitely where you go to other stores to get it, it is loaded with precious sugar or like syrupy sugar and everything and one thing to keep my body healthy and my balanced hormones together i have to keep my sugar intake at a minimum as much as possible so as much as i love matcha and the benefits that it has i definitely had to buy all the goodies and i will talk about that in another video to start making my own matcha lattes and teas and smoothies and whatever else i choose to make and this is the brand i tried i liked it i Enjoy it. It's very flavorful. It says 100% pure ground tea leaf. And you know, you have to boil matcha at the right temperature so you don't scald it and basically burn and kill all the ingredients of it. But yeah, I have already purchased a bigger bag of this. This is the smallest one I got from my from um, Amazon, and I enjoyed it. All right, almost about to wrap up the whole tea thing. Let's talk about two main things that's made my tea experience better. Um, one thing that I've already talked about in my tea video is Sugar Rocks, and I love Sugar Rocks. Amber Tea, this is by Tea Forte, Amber Tea Sugar, Slow Crystallized Cane Sugar. This is one pound, and this is the bag here. I love Sugar Rocks, particularly Amber or the clear one, and mainly because it doesn't alter the flavor of the tea that you're drinking. A lot of other, especially more processed sugar, they wind up changing and altering the flavor of the tea and it just it just tastes sugary. You really lose the true essence and flavor of the tea, something I truly appreciate and love. Whereas the Sugar Rocks just kind of lightly sweetens it without changing the natural flavors and essence of the tea. So I always keep try to keep some Sugar Rocks in stock. So there you go there. And then something new that I finally did, got for myself because again, I am trying to keep sugar at a minimum in my diet and I love different type of healthy lattes. And one way to get that going outside of using my blender is to get a milk frother. This is a handheld milk frother here by Elementi. And I got this from Amazon. It's for cappuccinos, matcha teas, it's keto, keto friendly coffee. It's operated by batteries, double A's. And basically you just whisk it, submerge it in some water, clean it, throw it. Stainless steel one is the one that I got. This is the box, it's an empty. It's not like, <laughs> it's not an actual edible or usable thing as far as like hair, skin and body, but it's something that I just had to mention as an empty box because basically it ain't going back. The box is empty. It ain't finna be returned. I'm obsessed ever since I have started using this and it is in conjunction with all my healthy teas and everything like that. I love this. I will definitely be doing a video about this whole situation. So, all right, we're in the last category and that is here for these empties. Let's wrap this up, you guys. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. It's all about the hair. All right, two new products that I think I might have mentioned already um, as far as I think things that I use to maintain my protective styling. But it is the OGX Co Quenching Coconut Curls Curling Hair Butter Leave-In and Rinse Out Cream. And their Styling Freeze Defying Curling Styling Milk. So these are two new products that I've tried it. I purchased these in 2020, you guys, at the top of 2020. And I just wanted to try something new and different for my hair. And this was always something I had my eye on. And I purchased these from Amazon, of course, because we were in quarantine when I decided to do it. And they're empty. I have like a little bit there right there that I need to just like get out i will definitely repurchase these i love these as a combo my hair loved them definitely during um 
uh, my protective styling. I loved using definitely the milk because I can get inside and in between wherever I needed to moisturize my hair. And of course the body butter was great when I needed to create the braids or twist outs or whatever I was doing, a little wash and go. I love these two as combos. They definitely work. This is 6.6 um, .6 fluid ounces for the hair butter. And then uh, this one is six fluid ounces for the curly milk. I slept on these. I'm late to these. Love these. Yes, a repurchase. No doubt about it. And then next is a brand that I definitely have talked about before. And this is the Shea Moisture's Manuka Honey and Refure Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. Here. I bought like three of these. I think this is the first of three. They went on sale on Amazon for like literally $3.50 each. But you only can get a max of three. But I did another repurchase. So I have probably, I think I have four left, four left. I'm already on the fifth one. I like it, love this. Will we purchase, I love this line, the Manuka Honey and my Fuel Oil line. So it's empty, it's a one and done. All right, you guys, last but not least, this hair product, this brand, I've probably talked about it. I think I've already had empties of it. This is a staple, this is a staple, this is a staple, this is a staple. Um, when I don't have my shea butter, Jamaican black castor and peppermint, this is the replacement. On the ground, cheaper, accessible. It is Garnier's Whole Blend Repairing Shampoo. This is their Honey Treasures line. Royal Jelly Honey and Extract for Strengthening and Damaged Hair. I love this line. I use the whole sweep of this line. It's just, it's good when you can use the shampoo, the conditioner, the leave-in, the mask. I love everything about this line. It's always between four to no more than seven dollars, depending on where you get it. And I will always repurchase this line, this brand, when it comes to my hair. So, yeah. Boom. Okay, you guys, that is it. I hope this video isn't too long. Again, as I mentioned before at the top of the video, I am seriously thinking about doing MTs per category. So like just hair, just health, just skin, just beauty, or what have you. If you would like to have those things broken up, please let me know. Or if you don't mind these semi-long empty videos with all of these categories together, also let me know down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've used any of these products. Let me know if I'm missing out something more like at Trader Joe's or any other product lines or new ones that I've tried, put me on to something. I'm open to suggestions, especially the more natural, the more clean, the more vegan. I'm even more excited for. And yeah, I have some more videos coming for you guys and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching and subscribing down below, commenting and giving me a thumbs up and also hitting that notification bell so you don't know every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.